Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 10, A Critical Look at Proportional Relationships. Okay, so, proportion. A over B is a fraction or a ratio. If I set A over B equal to another ratio, C over D, then that is a proportion. So this is a proportion. Okay, Paul walks two miles in 25 minutes. How many miles can Paul walk in 137.5 minutes? Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to introduce a variable because we're going to be using X's and Y's. So I'm going to call my first column X and my second column Y. And from math seven and math six, we learned that Y equals K times X, where K is a constant of proportionality or a constant rate of change. And since this guy's going two miles in 25 minutes, then when you plug in the X and the Y, we would get two equals K times 25. Okay, so this would solve for K by, if we divided by 25 on both sides, then these t cancel and I get K equals two over 25. Okay, so we do also have a formation, a form of this equation where it's K equals, if we decide divide both sides by X, it's K equals Y divided by X. Okay, so now if I just simply remember that multiplication is repeated addition, then I can say, well, if I take 25 minutes and I double my time, I should go double the distance, so 2 times 2 is 4. And if I multiply 25 times 3, or just keep adding 25, I will get 75, plus 25 is 100, plus 25 is 125. So that's repeated addition or it's 25 times 2, 25 times 3, 25 times 4, 25 times 5. We do the same with the 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, much quicker to do it this way, but we could also have used k equals y divided by x to find each term. So exercise 1 says, Wesley walks at a constant speed. That's the key here, it's constant from his house to school 1.5 miles away okay so this is the distance it took him 25 minutes that's time to get to school what fraction represents his constant speed c so we're calling constant speed c okay i just realized that i had forgotten to answer this question so I went back to the first example. So Paul walked to, I filled out the table, but then it says, how many miles can Paul walk in 137.5 minutes? So if this is 137.5, then we want to know what Y is here. So I would set up my proportion, like I was saying up above. So I'd say 25, our, my time is to my distance I know as my time is to the distance I don't know. And that's my Y. So when I cross multiply, I get 25y equals 2 times 137.5. So 25y equals 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 7 is 14, plus that 1 is 15, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and 2 times 1 is 2. So 275. To find y, I divide both sides by 25, and I get y equals, well, 25 will go into 104 times, 25 will go into 208 times, and then 25 will go into 75 three times, so 8 plus 3 is 11. So it will take him 11 miles. He will go 11 miles in 137.5 minutes. Okay, now getting back to this equation. Okay, now I'm going to go back for a moment, and you may have seen this in a science class or even in my class last year or in your 
seventh grade or sixth grade math class last year or two years ago. Uh, we have a formula that says distance equals rate times time. So now we're calling rate a constant speed c. So now we're using the same formula, but it's going to be d equals c times t. So now we want to solve for c, so I would divide both sides by t, and these cancel. So I'd get c equals the distance divided by the time. So if I'm going to do that, then I find my fraction that represents the constant speed. So now if I use that c equals distance divided by time, I simply put my distance, 1.5, over my time, 25. So there is the fraction that represents his constant speed, c, 1.5 to 25. Part B says you want to know how many miles he has walked after 15 minutes. Let y represent the distance he traveled after 15 minutes. So now we're changing the d to y. So if I have d equals r times t, now let me change this to the values that we're using. It's the same formula, just different variables. Our r is now c. Our y is the distance he traveled, so that's over here. After 15 minutes of walking, okay, so it says let y represent the distance he traveled after 15 minutes of walking. So that's our time. So we're going to use the formula y equals c times t. And we know that it's 15 minutes. That's our time. So it's going to be c times 15 equals y. Now if I want to solve this for c, I would divide both sides by 15. And the c 15s cancel. And therefore my equation is c equals y divided by 15. I could also have come up here and seen that I've already set this up, c equals distance divided by time. Distance is y times 15. Okay, part c says write a fraction from parts a and b as a proportion and solve to find how many miles Wesley walked after 15 minutes. So this fraction's a ratio, this fraction's a ratio, and now we're going to set them equal to each other. So this is the transitive property. Remember that if A equals B and C, B equals C, then A equals C. So up here, if I have this equal to C and C equal to this, then this is equal to this. That's the transitive property that we're leading up to. So write a fraction from part A and B as a proportion. So I'm going to say, my 1.5 over 25 equals this fraction, y over 15. And solve to find how many miles Wesley walked after 15 minutes. So I'm going to cross multiply here and get 25y. And 15 times 1.5. 15 times 15 is 225, and I have one decimal place, so it's 22.5. And then I divide both sides by 25. Divide both sides by 25. These cancel, and I'm left with y equals, and 22.5 divided by 25 is 0.9. So he walks nine-tenths of a mile after 15 minutes. D, let Y be the distance in miles that Wesley travels after X minutes. Write a linear equation in two variables that represents how many miles Wesley walked after X minutes. Okay, so let Y be the distance in miles. And we're going to use this proportion, or this ratio right here. So we know that he 1.5 miles in 25 minutes. 1.5 miles in 25 minutes. And that is going to equal Wesley traveled after X minutes. Let Y be the distance in miles. So we're doing distance over time. So my distance is y and x minutes is time. 
So now I have 1.5 over 25 equals distance y over time x. Write a linear equation in two variables. So there's a y, there's an x, there's two variables. That represents how many miles Wesley walks after x minutes. So I'm going to cross multiply, and I'm going to get 25y equals, and I'm going to multiply these and get 1.5x. So when I divide by 25, I get y by itself, divide this side by 25, and I get y equals, and I'm going to just put this 1.5 over 25 out in front of my x. So there is a linear equation in two variables. Remember, a linear equation is a is an equation where the variable is to the power of 1 or 0, and this is to the power of 1, so this is a linear equation. Okay, number two. Stephanie drove at a constant speed from her apartment to her friend's house 20 miles away. It took her 45 minutes to reach her destination. So remember that C equals distance divided by time. So C is going to equal her distance, 20 miles, divided by the length of time it took her, 45. B, what fraction represents constant speed C if it takes her X number of minutes to get halfway to her friend's house? Okay, so let me go back here. And she went 20 miles. So to halfway, half of 20 is 10. So now my distance is 10. Okay, and C is still our constant speed, and X is number of minutes. So D equals 10 miles, um, and my D is the numerator, and that is my Y. So that is going to be y. So I'm going to be y equals distance equals 10 miles. So I'm just using the same variables. So if I have c equals distance divided by time, and now I'm going to say my c, my constant speed, which was, I'm using c, and now the distance is half of that, then it's 10 over x number of minutes. So this is the answer to b. Part C says write and solve a proportion using the fractions from part A and part B to determine how many minutes it takes her to get half to the halfway point. So if I go back and C equals 20 over 45, so it's 20 over 45 equals 10 over X. So I've set up my proportion. I'm going to cross multiply. And I'm going to get 20 X equals 45 times 10 is 450. And when I divide by 20, okay, I get, actually I don't want to do it that way. Divide by 20, divide by 20, and the 20s cancel, and I'm left with x. The zeros cancel, and I get 45 over 2, which is 22.5 minutes. 22 and a half minutes. Okay, part D. Write a two-variable equation to represent how many miles Stephanie can drive over any time interval. So now we're going to take this 20 over 45, bring it down here. 20 over 45 equals y over x. Okay, how many miles Stephanie can drive over any time interval is y divided by x. So when I cross multiply, I get y, oh, 45 times y, equals 20 times x. Divide by 45, divide by 45. Cancel the 45s, and I get y equals 20 over 45x. Now I can reduce that, because 5 will go into 20 four times, and 5 will go into 45 nine times. So my equation is y equals 4 ninths x. Okay, number three. 
The equation that represents how many miles y Dave travels after x hours is y equals 50x plus 15. Use the equation to complete the table below. So x is the number of hours. So after one hour, you plug in one for your x into our equation they gave us. So y equals 50 times one, which is 50, plus 15 equals 65. So now we're going to complete this table. So that x is going to be two, three, three and a half, and 4.1. I'm just going to set up the equations first. So it's 50. Um, actually, let me just do one at a time instead. And I'm going to use a different... Five minutes to get to class. Okay, sorry for that interruption. So now it says y equals 50 times 2. So that is 100 plus 15 is 115 miles. I'm now going to write y equals 50. And now my 2 is a 3. My x is a 3 plus 15. 50 times 3 is 150, plus 15 is 165. So what we're really doing here is adding 50 each time until we get to a fraction, and then we can no longer do that. So now I have y equals 50. I'm going to replace the x with 3.5. So 50 times 3.5, well, 50 times 3 is 150, and half of 50 is 25, so that's going to be 175 plus 15 is 190. Next problem, y equals 50, leave a space for the x, plus 15, and then I'm going to substitute in my 4.1. So this one I'm just going to show my work rather than trying to do it in my head. 50 times 4.1, it will be 0. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20. One decimal, that's 205 plus 15. So 205 plus 15 is 225, or 220. 205 plus 15 is 220 miles. Okay, that is the end of lesson 10. Review the summary and go do your problem set.